now it's time to format the search form. WordPress automatically generates the HTML for the search widget if we don't have our own HTML for it. So how does WordPress know if we have a search form template? Simple, we just need to create a template called searchform.php. Let's create this file now. In this template, add the following HTML. Alright, let's go over what's in this HTML one by one. First, we need a form tag. We must set the ID, class, method, and action attributes. The ID and class should have search form. This allows for any plugins to hook into this form if needed. You can also add additional classes if you want to. The method should always be get, as that's what's recommended by WordPress. The action attribute should be the URL to the home page. I'm introducing a new function here called home underscore URL parenthesis. This is a function provided by WordPress. We simply pass in a, a slash two instructed. We just want the root home URL. Next, we have to set up the input tag. The name should always be S. WordPress uses this name for something called the loop. The loop is something we'll go over in a future lecture. For now, just know you should always set the name to S. Next, we're going to set the ID attribute to search. Lastly, the fields value will be set to the value returned by the search query function. This function simply returns the search query the user inputted. If there is no search query, it'll just return an empty string. That's it. Anything besides those things are completely up to you. Let's refresh our page and see if the form is formatted correctly. And it is. This looks so much better because it fits with the rest of our theme. One last thing. In the resources section of this lecture, I provide a link for more info on the search form. As you can see, it's pretty well documented. If you want to learn more about the search form, then read up on this page.